going. My name is Vanessa if you have never been here before and this is my channel The Plantiness. So in today's video we're going to be looking at the next Hoya in my Hoya series Meet My Hoya. So today's Hoya is Hoya Sangvii. Um, I do believe that there is a lot of confusion as to the name of this Hoya. There is another Hoya, probably the Bertonier or the Bilobata, and they've been mixing it up with the Hoya Sangia. But from my knowledge, this is the correct name for this Hoya. So Hoya Sangia. Um, this Hoya originates in the Philippines. So from that information, of course, we can assume that this one does like to have a bit of a warmer temperature. Um, it is currently winter in Australia. So the room that I have it in varies from 14 degrees to probably about a maximum of 24. And I haven't seen any adverse effects to the lower temperatures at night and throughout the day when I'm not home. And yeah, so this is, in my experience, a quite hardy grower. As you can see, I'm not sure, but there is, they're so small, it's gonna be hard to see. But we have got some growth just in here, some new growth there as well. It's such an awkward like position. But yeah, so in here, I'm not sure if that's gonna focus or not. And in here, so I, that has further led me to believe that it's happy where it is for the winter. And this Hoya, in my experience, is a really great grower. So I don't think it was even this long when I got it, probably. Now I haven't had this one for that long either. May, uh, it's hard to, hard for me to say but either that or that is all new and this other one actually I propagated so this whole other side they are tangled <laughs> so yeah so all of this here is new growth as well as this section here so all that stem I propagated it from this main stem so you could imagine that that would have been quite long and there is of course a new growth point coming out here and yeah so a great grower in my experience and very hardy even though it does have the thinner leaves I don't really think that it's needs more water I kind of just wait for the leaves to go a bit like flimsy like I watered it last night so it's just still getting back that moisture but once they're really really flimsy and like this one is probably the most dehydrated leaf and it gets really really flimsy that's when you know to water probably don't leave it that long but as soon as I notice that little bit of flimsiness that's when I water it Sometimes I don't always get around to it straight away, but that's when I do aim to water my Hoyas. And yeah, so that is Hoya Stinkyai. Alrighty guys, so that is another Hoya for the Meet My Hoya series. So that was Hoya Stinkyai. If you had any further tips on Hoya Stinkyai, or there's a Hoya that I have in my collection that you'd want to see, soon make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below and if you have any other video suggestions or anything that you want to see make sure you pop them down there as well and if this series sounds like something that you would be interested in make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well as it really helps me out i'll see you in the next one bye